Hey everyone, welcome back to Trifix. Today we're going to be taking a special look at a figure that's on pre-order right now on Goodsmell's online shop and a few other stores as well. And it's going to be Max Factory's 2018 Racing Miku Summer Version. We're taking a look at it because I'm kind of on the fence of whether I want to pre-order it or not. And by the end of the video, I'm going to decide if I want to or not. But I wanted to go over who's sculpting her, company's history, and the illustrator that created her. So without further ado, let's go take a look and see if you should pre-order her or not. All right, so here we go. Max Factory's Racing Miku 2018 summer version. She's got a release date for December 2020. I think Good Smile might just be kind of taking into account any delays they may end up having planned for her, because it seems really long. But I've been seeing it a lot lately. There's a figure for, for Freight Grand Order coming out in December this year that was up for pre-order maybe last year too. But you know, that's, that's great. It gives them time to really work on finishing her up, making sure everything's to tier but actually you know what it's max factory so we won't really have to worry about anything being dull or anything I, max factory's got a huge pedigree and lineup when it comes to their figure work they may not have done a ton of racing mikus in the past probably the most famous looking racing miku which is 2014's ev mirai she's pretty much known as the beyonce miku i think she is probably the best looking and most beautiful racing miku currently available yeah so if max factory could handle that there's absolutely no doubt that they'll be able to bring life into this next figure and speaking of the figure let's go ahead and take a look at some pictures she's got a really cool looking color scheme to her and the sculpting looks fantastic. I really love the playful little kind of like tiptoe pose she's doing. The work on the eyes and the face and the translucent parts on her hair and twin tails looks absolutely phenomenal. It talks about the detail, all the work they're putting into the sculpt, her ankles, her thighs, and those twin tails to really bring in the summer feel to this figure. She's had a couple other versions of her before, which I'll also show some photos of here. But they never really drew me in enough to pre-order her. This one, however, I really enjoy, and especially this photo that we're looking at right now, the side view of her. Take a look at the amount of work they're putting into the thigh right now and her butt. This is wonderful. I think there's another photo, actually, we'll take a look. This is beautiful, too, this kind of tilted pose they have for her. But yeah, these photos really sold me on her, and look at the work on that beautiful little adorable face. This is gonna be amazing. Just doing this video right now, I'm kind of going more into I want to pre-order her right away. She's up for pre-order until the 10th of October it looks like with Good Smell's online white page. And with Good Smell you don't have to wait for them to be in stock at other retailers so you're going to probably get an earlier grab on her. You know either if you do it from Amiami or Right Stuff I think the main negative is you may be paying a little higher price for shipping. So do your best if you can if you want her get her off of Good Smile because I think you're going to be in the best deal for that. All right, so let's take a look at her price. She's about fifteen thousand before tax. So in U.S. that means she's about one hundred and fifty-eight dollars with eighteen dollars to ship. I think that's a fair price. There's not much extra going on with her. She's only a one-seven scale, so she's kind of tiny. But it's Max Factory, so you know you're going to be getting quality. You're going to be getting a lot of detail. I mean, no need to worry there. The sculptor is extremely well known to Nakayama. If you've ever seen any of the like lingerie or wedding figures from Tula Ru, right here, beautiful detail going on to the lingerie and her facial emotions right there. They clearly have all of their talent under control. Beautiful figures on their lineup. Same thing for the illustrator, Hiro Kanzaki. If you've ever seen Oremo or Ero Manga Sensei, Classroom Crisis, Eureka 7 AO, he's the character designer for those guys. And also check out his art books. I have one with me right here, which I'll start to show some footage of. He's actually got a section full of Vocaloid design work that he's done. A lot of Miku. There was even another Max Factory Hatsune Miku HSP version released back in 2012. I have this figure here. I managed to get her off of AmiAmi Ami used. This was a couple years ago, but she's a fantastic figure. You can really see how well Max Factory was able to replicate the 2D illustration into 3D. So with Kanzaki's illustration, Nakayama's sculpt, Max Factory behind this, this seems like it's rolling up to be a wonderful figure and I really can't wait. So you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and pre-order her. Yeah, let's go ahead and end this here. Let me know if you're going to pre-order her too what you think she's gonna be like. Do you think there's gonna be any issues or do you even think it's gonna be a delay for her? And do the countdown because now we gotta wait until next December just to see if we can get our hands on her on time. All right guys, until next time, buy responsibly, keep collecting. We'll see you right here on Trifig. Bye.